taken three. I thought I was going to fall asleep. I thought Liam Neeson was going to fall asleep. In the first film, it was a lot of fun seeing Neeson being badass. But in this film, it's like watching your granddad. You can't quite see the coolness in it because you're too worried he's going to pop a hip. Get the ambulance ready! How is it that when someone was chasing him, they just couldn't catch up with this guy? It doesn't stay on a shot long enough. I began to figure that this is just to disguise that it is not Neeson, but in fact a stuntman. The editing was really difficult to watch. The cuts were painful, like a deep wound. <laughs> You cannot tell what's going on. I'd be more impressed with a big dramatic stunt with a car flying through the air if I could actually see it. Images were flashing so quickly I started to wonder if there was a subliminal message happening. You will love this movie. You will love this movie. You will love this movie. Well, the message didn't work. It is also rather magical that you can shoot someone and slit someone's throat and there be no blood. The 12A rating just makes the violence a joke. Forrest Whitaker eats his donuts like an acting pro and does his Cheshire Cat act whilst carrying out the worst detective skills in history. The script is appalling and I couldn't help but wonder if the writer understands that he had written Liam Neeson an alibi making every part of this film irrelevant, not forgetting, uninteresting. This is a spoiler, so hit that mute button if you are concerned about having Taken 3 spoilt for you, even though the filmmakers have done that already. Don't cast Duggery Scott if you don't want us to know who the bad guy is from the opening credits. So answer this question in the comments section below. Who is your favourite Liam Neeson character?